Hey guys, it's Noor Jahan here and I'm so excited to belly dance with you guys today. Today we're just going to do a basic warm up and then we're just going to start dancing. Now this is not one of those technical dance classes where I'm going to correct you or tell you every little thing that you need to do. Although I do have some other videos if you want a little bit more guidance on each of the different individual body parts and their movements. So check out those videos for more specifics, especially if you're struggling with a body part or if you need any special accommodations. This dance class is about getting up and getting moving no matter what ability level you're at, no matter what you've been struggling with in terms of pain in your body. It's about listening to your body. This is the way that I've practiced belly dancing my whole life. And it's the way that it's practiced in a lot of different cultures in the world. Now, it is a very diverse dance. So I'm teaching it the way that I've learned it, the way I've grown up with it. And it's about coming together as a community, celebrating our bodies. It's not about looking like somebody else. It's about looking like the best version of yourself. So as we go through it, I don't want to hear any self-criticism. I want this to be about you celebrating that beautiful body that you get to walk around in every single day. So with that in mind, if you guys want, you can wear a hip scarf and I have a separate video about how to tie the hip scarf and why I tie it the way that I tie it, but any kind of scarf will do. You can stick it around your waist and then make sure that you have some water or something to hydrate you. It's a really quick class, so we're gonna get a pretty good workout in a short amount of time. Now with that in mind, let's dance. All right guys, we're gonna start with the hips and do a quick warm up. You're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart, slight kind of squat, and you're gonna bring your hips forward, side, back, side. Forward, side, back, side. Forward, side, back, side, and then a circle. There you go, the top part of your body is still. We're just isolating the hips right here. There you go. You can feel some of the muscles in your stomach. You can feel some of the burn in your thighs. There you go. You'll find that the lower you go, the bigger your circle will be. The higher you go, the more slight it'll be. There you go. Yes. Now we're going to go in the other direction. We're going to go forward, side, back, side, forward, side, There we go. There's usually one direction that feels more comfortable for you, so just find what works for you and go with it. Nice, this is just exploring your different body parts. Belly dance is all about isolation. So now we're gonna move to the chest. Now the chest can be challenging, so if it feels a little awkward for you at first, just do your best, okay? There's a separate video on the chest if you want some extra tips, but for right now we're gonna go forward, side, back, Forward, side, back, side in a circle. There you go. If you have a small little circle that you're making, that's okay. The more you practice, the bigger it'll get. This is a great workout for your back, too. There you go. And we'll go the other way. Don't forget to breathe. Forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back. Side in a circle. Here's what it looks like from the side. There you go. And this is about your rib cage moving, not just your shoulders. So your shoulders aren't leaving it, it's coming from your stomach. There you go. And now we're going to move to the arms. So the arms are going to be, ready? Shoulders first. Just loosen them up. Feel them just flowing. There you go. And then forward. This is you just getting comfortable with each of these body parts. See what feels good to you. Now we're gonna go out to the side and down. Side, nice. And the other side. Ah, oh, you can just feel the music. And now both arms. And just move in a fluid motion. There 
There you go. And now we're just gonna loosen up the neck a little bit. We're gonna take the neck and we're gonna go forward, side, back, side. And be very careful if you feel any strain, then don't move in that direction. Only move in what direction feels comfortable for you. If you wanna go like this, that works too. It's not about pulling muscles and hurting yourself. It's just about getting your body moving. And now in a circle, you can go like this or in a circle like that. There you go. We're gonna take it in the other direction. So again, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side in a circle. There we go. Nice, now one last move, all right? This is the most traditional belly dancing move. It's about checking your hips. Now you can do it high, you can do it low, you can do it fast, you can do it slow. Again, there's a separate video. Right now we're just loosening up. So we're gonna take the back leg and keep it straight. Take the front leg and bend it a little bit. And then we're gonna take the hip only, not the whole, we're not bouncing. And we're just gonna check it. Check. So it looks like this. You're just swinging that hip. There we go. All right, let's do it on the other side, ready? Back leg straight, other leg up. And I put my other leg with a, on a tippy toe. Ba, da, da, da. Just like that. There we go, all right, great warm up. Okay, now that we've got the basics down, you guys are a little bit warmed up, we're gonna just take those moves. We're gonna take some hip movements, some chest, a little bit of arms in there, and we're gonna just pour it into a dance. Now, again, this is not about looking like anybody else. Just pretend you're here with me in my living room and we're just dancing together, all right? So I want you to move, shake, do whatever feels best for you. Let's do this. There you go. Just start moving that beautiful body. Woo! Practice each of the different body parts and isolating them.
Now that was a great workout. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my little belly dancing party here. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos. And most importantly, don't forget to hydrate. I can't wait to see you guys next time.